name is Dr. Nick Sermis. Today, you've chosen to learn about tarsal tunnel syndrome, a common ordinary disease of life, but very often one we see in workers' compensation, from a blow to the ankle on the medial aspect or an ankle sprain that was severe that just isn't getting better. What does a patient tell you? They have tarsal tunnel syndrome? No, they usually tell you, I have pain, tingling, or numbness on the medial aspect of the calcaneus. Let's take a look at somebody who has tarsal tunnel syndrome. Good orthopedic physical exam diagnosis always starts with bony anatomy. Here we have the medial malleolus. Isolate the tip of the medial malleolus and let's outline the entire medial malleolar structure. Directly posterior to that, one finger breath, is the posterior tibial tendon. Directly posterior to that is the flexor digitorum profundus. Right next to that, is the tibial nerve, the culprit in tarsal tunnel syndrome. As it comes down out of the distal leg, it crosses under this medial retinaculum, a fascial-like structure that compresses the nerve right at the edge. Here we have pain localized tenderness to direct palpation and also a positive Tennell's test. Palpation tapping that area gives tingling numbness in that distribution of the nerve. This is tarsal tunnel syndrome. Your clinical notes, both positive and negative, are crucial so that you and Texas Mutual both will assign the correct diagnosis to this patient. Thank you for watching Workplace Diagnosis.